kind of reminded me of college when I played Mississippi State my freshman year. Right. I think it was like the second or third play, got a sack. Right. And, I mean, it just really just made things a lot easier. It just made, made the game a lot more comfortable. But, you're, it seems like you're playing all three linebacker positions. You're putting your hand on the ground. That's about what you get at USC, too. Is that something you're comfortable with in those playing those different roles? That's fine. I mean, I'm, a, I'm really on, I'm on the one. Oh, really? I'm on one linebacker position. But so you're playing the Sam or the I'm playing the Sam. Sam, okay. I'm playing the Sam, but I, I'm comfortable with playing defensive <laughs> and, and linebacker. And it really it really doesn't matter. I think with, okay. with, with the coaching and with my work ethic and talent, I think I can make plays in the world. You were putting your hand down, though. I saw you doing that oh, yeah. some. So in, in passing situations, you're coming in, you're the kind of designated yeah. pass rusher. Yeah, well, when we bring in a certain pass packages, yeah. yeah that's right. And that's what you did at Carolina, too. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about what it was like to make that first set. It's crazy. It was crazy. Really relieved yeah. the play for me. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was really just, I was coming off the edge, running back block, running back, running back block, the tackle was right there. I saw the quarterback scrambling up, so I really just worked off the, worked off the quarterback and met him at the line. And then I went for the strip. Went for the strip, went right. for the tackle, then the strip, and tried to recover, tried to recover the fumble. And you got to make plays. Yeah. To get a roster spot, you got to make plays. Oh, yeah, you, de you definitely got to produce. I mean, there could be a lot of guys doing the right thing, but I mean, at the same time, they won't. I'm, I'm learning that they want guys that can produce and be efficient at the same time. So. Is there is the speed of the game that much higher? No, I, I don't. I don't believe so. I mean, I think playing in the SEC that would be a lot. Right. I mean, when I'm seeing some of these guys on the field, some of the guys I played against right. in college, and, and you take a guy like Mike Bissell, right? And you take a guy like Jeremy Patton, right? And speed wise, they're very, very similar. Right. Just playing against playing against guys like that over the years, I mean, it's, it's helped a lot. People, when you came out of high school, who's Eric Norwood? He's not big enough. Da, 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 da. And it seems like they're doing the same thing here. Does that motivate you? It, it always motivated me. <laughs> even, even when I was in fourth and fifth grade. Right. right. Everybody always, overlooks you. Yeah. I've always been that guy. And it just, it, I don't know. I just, I just get it done. Right. Kind of, kind of like that. Kind of like that girl. <laughs> But it seems like they talk about what you can't do instead of what you can do. Yeah, I mean, people people look at it, people look at the narratives. They be like, "Well, he's six one. Right. He's two forty. What can he play? Right. Or he can't cover. Like, I mean, God said that when I was coming out, I couldn't cover. Right. I mean, obviously we covered a lot in this defense. And right. I just never had. To. Right. Right. <laughs> never really had to. We had a pretty good secondary. Right. Pretty good scheme. So, but I mean, I. I love proving people wrong. That's, the, that's what motivates me. Last question. Travell's here. Captain's here. Does that make your comfort level better? And do you go to the guys and ask them for, for advice? For Do you talk to them about yeah, stuff? It's, it's great to have guys like Travell and Captain here. I mean, even with Travell, like, Travell knew what certain stuff was out here. Like, I had to go to Bank of America for my brother. Right. And Captain, he didn't know where it was. But he, <laughs> Travell, he, right. he knew where it was. So just for me to ask him things like that, it's just. Now, are you and Captain, you rooming together like you nah. did in no? No, 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 you're not living with him no more, huh? Room together in a hotel at right. the game, but not right now. Right. Eric, thank you. Best right. of luck to you thank now. You. You got one day left in training camp. Tell me what your first training camp was like. It was great. It was tough. Fought through, uh, fought through injury. <laughs> got through it and just got better day by day. And just really had to keep it going mentally. <laughs> what do you think's the biggest things you've learned through training camp this year? Really just how to how to be a, how to be a better linebacker. I mean, it started in college with my coach when he's when Coach Johnson switched me to switched me to linebacker. He started the foundation, and now my coach, Coach Smith, now he's just really teaching me. How was it getting on the field for your first pro game last game, and then on top of that, getting a sack and creating a fumble? It was crazy. I mean, it was one of it was just one of those things. It's just like, I mean, you you kind of expect it of yourself, like, but at the same time, for it to for it to happen that soon, I mean, it's kind of. Have you been able to kind of get a feel for what your role is going to be this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm playing linebacker. Playing linebacker, I mean, doing defensive end at times and just really just making plays and doing whatever they ask me to do, special teams, whatever. So that's amazing.